Hey everyone, today I'm going to tell you three things I think every guitar player should know about chorus and chorus pedals. So chorus pedals and chorus effects are uh, basically a reproduction of a natural occurrence. So what is chorus in its natural form? Well, in its natural form, picture two singers singing the exact same thing. No matter how good they are, two things would probably happen. One, one of the singer's pitch would be slightly sharp or flat, just a little bit, right? They would be in harmony, but not exactly perfect because they're not robots, they're humans, and they ha are flawed. Now, the other thing that would probably naturally be occurring is that one of the singers, maybe the same one, is a few milliseconds slower than the others. Again, these are things that when you're hearing the overall quality, you would be hearing two singers singing in harmony that sound fantastic, but the human ear can detect even the slightest flaws. But when it's very minute like this, you discount it. In other words, you, you are okay with it. So chorus is this kind of that same, that's that's effect and we we naturally hear it being slightly off in some way so why would someone want to replicate that because in a live situation you would be thinner than you would if you were recorded it so for instance if two guitar players were playing the same piece on the recording and only one guitar player is performing it live you would have a issue where the audience would be able to tell that the guitar is not as thick as it was just like a choir right versus a singer right on the live album maybe you have a choir a singer singing but in the live show you only have the singer that's why usually other band members or sometimes backup singers are brought in to fill up the sound same same effect now some players don't like it because it's warbly or out of tune and that brings us to our third point so now that we've figured out what it is and why you'd want to use it well how do you use it and we're going to use this boss ch1 because i think it's a great pedal to to kind of get a sense of chorus. Now let's talk about the two important things. Most chorus pedals are gonna have these two controls. First is rate. Think of rate as delay. That's the milliseconds of delay you want the second guitar to be coming in at. So of course, the more you intensify the rate, the farther back the guitar will be playing. Here's a good example. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna to go to the control and we're gonna take the, the depth and put that and what we have now is rate at 10. <laughs> And that's where you get that wah, 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 wah. that's that warble okay why would you want that well some people do it on purpose the most famous i think for that is this sound mostly because we perceive it to sound underwater right because of that warbling has kind of a wavy kind of sound if that's even a thing that's probably where we attach that to. Now next is depth, and depth is actually the pitch I was talking about. Now again, this isn't like a pitch shifter pedal where the pitch is extreme. It's gonna be within the vibrato range of a vocalist, which is not very much, especially in the intensity of guitar, right? Where we can bend and, and bend pitch extremely uh, very easily uh, on an instrument like this. The, the pitch is very subtle on this. So, so your two controls, rate and depth, are really delay and pitch in your mind. That's how you want to think of it. And, and so you want to kind of blend those. And again, think about that. How late do I want the guitar player to start? Me, I don't want them to be very late. I want them to feel pretty in tune with me. The pitch, though, I kind of want them to be slightly out of pitch than me. So that way... I'll put the uh, frequency up a little higher. I put the pitch up a little higher. I put the rate a little lower. Uh, if you want to look at my controls, they look like they look like this. That's exactly what I have right now. Let's go ahead and show you a cool open G chord. And that's a chord I love. That's the chord sound I kind of go for in my head. That... Again, without it. And why do I like that? Well, because again, I'm turning it back on. I want it to be a little higher and brighter. I want it to feel fuller, richer, kind of. Especially when I'm doing pick throughs too, that. As always, guys, I want to point out that I'm also on Twitter, uh, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. Please go ahead and you can hit those links down below. And you can also, if you want to support the channel, you can buy t-shirts. Those links are down below. There are now four different versions of t-shirts to buy. And as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.